Yeah, start it. How you doing? I am doing good. Three, two, one, go. I'm not gonna be comparing against my old run because again that just stresses me out. So yeah, I did get an answer on why um, they remove winged boots during chapter 9 and that is to prevent crashes later on the run which is also why it doesn't come back. So yeah, you only get like 6 chapters of winged boots. So I mean you could technically be faster by just not removing it but like then you, the run basically becomes RNG fast just praying not to crash. So. So yeah, I can see why someone wouldn't want to go for that. Okay. That's just like a thing I have to wait for, so if I don't have perfect movement there, it doesn't lose too much time. I just still need to get better at movement in these games, so... Also, uh, if someone can like give feedback on like how the audio balancing is right now, that would be great. I should just have a separate scene for runs without mic audio, or just a separate entire layout. Good as always, thank you. Oh well, there we go. Like half a second time loss. I can probably save a lot of time there if I just stand back and fire my arrows from really far back. So. Okay. That was really good. At least I say it was. Okay. There we go. There we go. That is really good. That's a personal best, I think. I think that's a gold. Uh, my runs from like... The other day are still pending, but like I submitted the gold. Well, I submitted everything like I usually do, right? Uh, and like it's still pending. So, uh, they did fix the chapter 9 leaderboard though, which was apparently broken uh, because uh, they added a subcategory to it for the cutscene warps and they never finished configuring it. And I was the first one to point it out, apparently. I was the first one to even notice. Like, just most normal day on the Skyrim's Giants leaderboard, to be honest. Like, that board's a mess, I don't even blame them. Like, apparently all of the cutscene warp subcategories had the same name, so it was just really hard to even find which one was the problem. So... Like, it kinda sucks. You got no, like it's just thing. I, I also pointed out our run that has to be, was verified as the incorrect platform for like two years. So, because again, I was probably the first one to care enough to like report it. But yeah, I could probably get an entire job out of just pointing out mistakes like that on later words. And oh god, speedrun.com, please add clarification that you need a lot of full. Category for a uh, level leaderboard to actually appear because not enough people know this. This is just rant in general, not Skylanders related, but yeah. There's a, definitely some stuff that speedrun.com uh, could improve. Like, fucking, if they need suggestions or a translator for some languages, they should just start. They should start reaching out. Like, they should start. Translating aside again because holy f fuck are the current translations broken because they were not updated since Elo acquired the website. Honestly, kind of sad.
Because, you know, having the side rules, like, as available as possible is kind of important. So... Also we still don't, also we still haven't gotten another super mod for giants yet. Uh, I'll read that in a bit. I have seen your message, I'm just focusing right now on the arena battle. Because yes, I can actually lose a frick ton of time here. Um, Carlux, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna say that emoji is an eyesore. Fifteen euros worth of new inbox figures and Zook being an error figure. Error figures new in box actually go for quite a lot apparently. So yeah, I'd say if you can pick that up for 15 euros, I'd pretty much say that's like, like you've got yourself a deal right there. Because like new and box figures actually go for quite a lot. I once found an error life trap, which was upside down, where the packaging was like upside down. I also found something once where like the packaging was like inverted. And I also saw one, I also saw one on eBay once where it was uh, high volt and night false packaging. I don't know how that happened, but it just did. There we go. Oh yeah, uh, I have been trying to route out the alpha a bit for any percent. So, there's that. Uh, I've not made any good discoveries other than characters with a dash can build up speed infinitely. In the alpha versions. But yeah, that's expected. It's an unfinished version of the game. Of course they can. Of course they're broken. No, I don't know how they broke existing characters. Like, that that's my question. Like, didn't they literally just build this game from SSA? Like, that's not a question. No, we know. They literally just built this game from SSA. I don't know how they break existing characters. Yeah, infinite speed is possible in the alpha. It's actually more overpower. Like, I know the only character... Where this glitch wasn't patched uh, in like the final version is Chop Chop, but like that glitch was discovered in Inspire's Adventure by someone on Reddit. Uh, and then like I just posted the post because I thought it might be useful and now it's useful. So, so yeah. Um, Shoutouts to a guy on Reddit for finding this Chop Chop infinite speed glitch. I think that's slower, actually, than getting a new stuff guy's done. I th that it might be slower, uh, getting the coins. Maybe they made it on purpose so it's easier to test. Yeah, that is actually a possibility. You never know what weird thing they is. They some developers do in the name of debugging. Like I know. Like, I, I, I know, like, they had an alternate level select, and uh, Return to Ship is always available from the start for debugging. Even though it literally just breaks the entire game. Using it anywhere where you're not supposed to. It loads uh, an unfinished version of the ship. Which just doesn't spawn you in. And I know, I know the debug minion was actually created by a UI designer. I noticed because I actually talked to the guy. Three, after my debug minion speedrun, I, I raided a developer of Spires of Stanger, and apparently they were the guy who made the debug minion, which is pretty cool. 
Yeah, Bouncer. Because fastest scanning giant. You'll see him again in a bit. So yeah, Bouncer of Meta. Okay, that's almost knocked my figure off my portal. I mean, um, I've backed up some of my figures now, by the way. Some of my figures have been backed up. So if one of them corrupts, it's not gonna be catastrophic. Like, I can easily restore it if this happens. Okay. Two and three. Don't spawn me in the cutscene trigger, please. I should have moved back a bit. That's gonna spawn me in the cutscene trigger. Oh no, it isn't. There we go. Thank you. Thanks, game. Oh yeah, I did stock up on keys and stuff before the run. Like, I always do that, even though I have like 200 of each. I never count. Like, though I still think there should be a way to in-game keep track of it. Even Trap Team doesn't have that. I know Tree Rex is part of the meta in Warpless, so... I know that's just a thing, apparently. I don't know if that's been changed yet, but I know there's a, uh, I know there's a level where you need a giant and you just use Tree Rex for one thing. I don't even know if it's faster than using Bouncer, I just do it. Because I saw someone do it, so... Oh, I also want to go to PB with... Three wrecks in a level and someone yelled at me saying that I was copying them. Like, okay, I'm sorry, you didn't invent three wrecks. That's all I can tell them. Like, bro, like, like, so like, I, this person did a run of a level, right? It got world record with three wrecks, so like, I was like, is it faster? So I tried it, and I oh, and then I beat his record, right? And then the person yelled at me, saying that my run sucks because I copied them. And like... Isn't that the whole thing of speedrunning? Like, we just use stuff that other people discover? Like, I can't, like... <laughs> yeah, like, that, that, that interaction happened months ago, and I'm still confused to this day. About that. But yeah, that, that person is a f pretty skilled runner. Even though they only use three racks. So yeah. I forgot their name though. So. Trurex is quite literally the most common Skylander out there. Or like one of the most common. Well, no, it's the most common, actually. Like the only way you wouldn't have a regular Trurex is if you if you got it in a if you got tr like the fucking PS4 bundle or the Wii bundle version of the game, in which case you have gnarly Trurex. Yeah, he is the most common. So. I know Series 3 Stealth is also one of the most common. Okay. Thanks, game, for just not working with this wall there. Really appreciate it. Yeah. So, yeah. Spyro is also pretty common, but Spyro was, like... I don't think there was ever a single pack of, like, for example, the regular Spyro. Yeah, the, well, there were the E3 ones, but I don't count those. Because those were never, like, released in stores, so... 
I know, I know Sure Free Stealth Elf was released in a triple pack during Imaginators, so. There's that. Do we have any sales numbers on the individual Skylanders figures? Like, do we have like an exact number of how many of them are in existence? That would be pretty interesting. I'm just checking if I have what I need here. There we go. Please work this time. That was a really long scan. There we go. That should work. Yeah, that got everything. I should learn to pick up my controllers faster because I that is still a lot of time loss I face. Yeah, I think those were just to get rid of stuff that was still in the warehouse. So, which actually makes a lot of sense to do it like that. Might as well get, might as well get profit off them instead of just destroying them. Because it would have cost us the money to just leave them in the warehouse. Because then they can't store other stuff there. So. Apparently there's al also... Y'all know the thing, right, with Series 2 Drobot where he has like a number on the back, right? Yeah, apparently some Series 2 Drobots don't have that. Like I asked Matthias to show me his. Right, because he didn't know about it, and he was like, I'll check which one I have. And he couldn't find it, and like, he showed it to me, and he just didn't have one. Hey Rico, welcome to the stream. You are currently watching a master at work. No, uh, Carlos, I think the numbers range from one to like four. I think that was it. Uh, and they do not have any impact on the value, it seems like. Probably because most people are unaware of them. I think, like, it not having a number at all is the rarest one, though. So. But yeah, I think my best guess at it is, like, it's part of the molding machine. And, like, it wasn't even supposed to be on the figure. That's my best guess. So. Guys, fucking secret falls of secret fault of secrets, the most boring level in the game. Hey, volgens mij zijn de automatische verdedigingssystemen hier afgegaan. Laat ze niet op ons schieten, maar schiet op hun. Gebruik de aanvalsknop. Rico, uh, my suggestion is uh, ask the devs for help. Totally. Like, they shouted you out when you got the game added to speedrun.com. They'll gladly help you, I swear. Source, um, I'm, it was revealed to me in a dream. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. I'm not expecting to get sub 140 this stream. I want to make this very clear. Like, I just need to get better at movement and shit in this game. So... That's basically all how I can save more time, just better movement. But Val is like insane when it comes to this game. I don't know why, like he's just built different apparently. Like he just, he's just so much, so ahead of everyone else in this game. Like he's just built different, it seems like. Like, uh, like I look at some, some of his videos, right? And I'm just like, how do you save time here? He's literally just built different. Or is he just doing some obvious stuff that I'm missing? So.
Val is the Owen, but for giants. Yeah, exactly. Also, don't get me started on Owen. He's also just built different when it comes to superchargers. Like, genuinely. Please die. I'm trapped him for a while, actually. Actually, does he still hold any, any percent world record for trapped him? I don't remember. There we go. I cause I, 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 I'm comfortable saying it now, but like no one appears to have seen it so far. Uh, I hold the Nightmare any percent world records for Supercharge and that's about it. And some co-op world records. But like I know everyone's gonna be coming from the night for that Nightmare world record very soon. Like there, there's probably gonna be a race to get sub 2 for Nightmare any percent. So yeah, like, so, how I got Nightmare any percent of the record, I was like, I'm just gonna do a D-Rust run, just record it, and just distract myself from, from awful shit that just, like, from awful new, news that I just heard, and then I got the fucking world record, so. And for those wondering, yes, that tur it turned out to just be fine in the end, so. So yeah, how's that? Like, but yeah, I kind of have, ha, like, the, like, Nightmare any percent of record is still furry, so is Nightmare Cop any percent of record. Like, they, that one's absolutely furry right now. Like, there's like seven minutes of free time saved from just not passing the game for seven minutes. Don't I don't think Toki wants to cope with me ever again though, which is completely fair. Like that is just completely fair. After all the beef we've had. So yeah. Oh well, I'll, I'll just wait until someone comes along and can cope with in real life. So. I mean, we have still done cops after everything. So, yeah. I'm just glad I'm just not constantly around him anymore. So, bro. So, yeah. What's the most hated Skylanders for you? The most hated the Skylander I like I like playing as least is pro like is probably Warnado. I don't like playing as Warnado. I'm just gonna say that now. Like you kind of just throw yourself into enemies. Like yes, he is the tornado, but it's not that good. Like you kind of just throw yourself at stuff, and that's how you attack it. And the damage isn't even that good. Like you should have done at le where the. F yeah, I'll just use this one. For those wondering, I lost my light court shield and it was right in front of me. Because I am blind. So like when it comes to swap force, it's like it's just Toki and uh, and Ninja who are just built different. So yeah, like, f like fucking I have like it like the amount of patience that Toki had for grinding swap force even before all of the discoveries and back in the day, right when her runs would regularly get rejected for being too low quality and shit. Right? Like, the amount of patience she had for grinding was just insane to me. Like, and it still baffles me to this day. The patience she has with that. 
But like she also really loves swap force, so. Like, I'm not even gonna mention, like, I'm not even gonna get started on Wii Runners, those are just insane. Like, so like, like, all of the Wii Runners, I'm just gonna say now, all of them, right? Like, I respect them for putting up with the Wii version, to be honest. Because, like, I've tried to speedrun the Wii version, but, it, like, I don't enjoy speedrunning the Wii version because it just has so many technical issues. Though, all newsflash, um, skill issue is not a helpful suggestion for, um, for helping me fix crashes. Like, yes, I'm bad at the game, but what does that got to do with my game crashing? Okay, so here's the thing. Swap force on the Wii was bad because they just because Vicarious Visions apparently just can't figure out how to port stuff. Like, like it could they fit the entirety of Trap Team on Wii. They could have easily fit the entirety of Swap Force on Wii. Like, but they had to cut corners and shit. But then again, right? Like, like the the, I f the Wii version was developed separately, right? So, like, I have a prototype of the Wii version, like from a March twenty thirteen, and like that prototype is so rough, right? That half of the stuff doesn't even work. Like the game's not beatable in the state. Like, there's like five levels that are playable. I think. I mean, someone's found a way to load all of the bosses, but I, like, I've reached out to them, asking them how to do it, and they never replied. Like, I don't know what black magic they're doing to load some of these levels, but I'm doing it wrong. Okay, so like, I hate, okay, so like, I hate the weave, playing the weave version of Swap Force, I don't hate Swap Force itself. Like, Swap Force is just fine, like, it's an alright game, like, it's, it's fun, so. Yeah, okay, so like here's the thing like swap force on the Wii. It's still swap force It's just missing some content and it runs like shit and the load screens. Oh my god the load screens Like So like, like the like the problem with swap force on the Wii is it's just not a good port, in my opinion. Like, Trap Team on the Wii, like, it was at least a full thing, right? Like, yes, it had a, it had a crashing issue in one of the levels. But, like, that is just one of the levels that's better than Swap Force or Wii just crashing whenever it feels like it. So, yeah, I don't like Swap Force on the Wii. I like Swap Force just not on the Wii. There. Don't kill me for saying that. Like... Respect to all of the runners who put up with that, like genuinely. If we was stable, I'd, I'd really, like, I'd run it. Or like, if they allow emulator or something, and then give, like, provide a way to actually make a dolphin run good, I'd play it. But like the, I feel like the problem with allowing emulator for swap, 
for Wii is that it will probably have a huge advantage over like real hardware because it runs like a billion times smoother. Swap Force Wii Hondo when? I have no intent on playing Swap Force 100% ever. Like, unless it's a co-op with someone who knows what they're doing. So, like, I don't have intent on running Swap Force Wii Hondo, right? Unless it's, like, with someone who knows what they're doing. So... so yeah, there's that. Yeah. <sighs> Can't wait until summer to be honest. Like I'll 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 be fucking. Like, I have two sky factors planned for the summer at least. Any pr any percent glitched and ASL glitchless. But I already know. Like fucking as soon as Toki has summer vacation, she's gonna be going for everything I have. Bro, can't we just like? Can't like can't like can she leave my records alone for a bit? Can she like start run speedrunning like another game, whilst I just take everything, and I can have it for at least a day? Thank you. Sky Factor 100% was always end on SSF. Like, fuck it, like, like, I, like, it's like, yeah, like, 100% for swap versus is kinda awful because of the damage list stuff. Does swap force have enemy goal, actually? Does any of you guys know that because I've never paid attention to it? Didn't they replace it with some other collect- Did they, Didn't they just replace it with some collectibles? Or... Please. Oh my god. It has enemy goal. I assume it's way more lenient than any giants because I've never had an issue with it in Swap Force. It's always 50 though. Okay, so yeah, like you just always get it. Noted. Overshot it. I know the, the difference between world record and second place currently is one second lotus, which is fucking insane to think about. Like, that's. Okay, so, like, here's the thing that one second difference can come down to a re timing error, and we would never know because no one ever went in and double checked it. Skylanders in its prime, a giant swap force was was I think when the most people played. Like it kind of started falling off of Trap Team, and then Supercharger was beyond saving. But like I feel like Superchargers would have done so much better if they had a proper Wii port. Like I feel like Supercharger would have actually just been saved if it had a proper Wii port. And like they should have just stopped after superchargers, but like they went like let's mil milk the cow one last time, and now we have some of the most stupidly expensive figurines in existence. Yeah. 
Trap team was so pricey. Yeah, they should have handled Trap team differently. Differently, like they shouldn't have locked the elemental gates to the Trap Masters. Like I feel like that that would ruin one thing. Uh, second, they should have made sure that tr the dark and light stuff was was properly available because I know Skylanders did suffer from scalpers, so. I think I'm losing time on this chapter. <sighs> I'm definitely losing time on the next chapter, that's for sure. I think that's saved time, actually. Yeah, tra like, like, fucking trap team, again, if you want to 100% it, please use NFC cards. Like, do your wallet a favor, use NFC cards. Bro, like, fucking NFC card reader and shit, like, that's a one-time investment. Like, reader 100 cards, like, that's like 50 euros if you source it properly, right? There we go. Yeah, like, literally, again, if you want to 100% trap team, like, don't even bother. Like, don't even bother sourcing everything you need f f second hand. Like, literally, an NFC scanner 100 cards is like 50 euros. So, even better if your phone can write NFC cards. Like, then you don't even have to buy the scanner. Like, you can just... 25 euros for 100 cards and like you're fine for the rest of your life like that's all you ever need if you really want every sh single different thing like 300 like fucking not the 150 euros and you have 600 cards so yes every game allows nfc cards so like like yes the rules are written a bit complicated but it basically comes down to a uh, we might ask you to tell us what figures are NFC cards, like, just tell them. Um, and, uh, like, don't use stuff that is otherwise not possible in-game. Like, but, like, most of the stuff I can think of, you can also just do on regular figures. If you just mod them hard enough. Like, you can- Okay, so, like, yes, I know you can get an NFC card, right? With, where it has, like, heroics that uh, the character can normally obtain. But like you can, I can do that on my regular tree rex as well. Like just load it into the alpha and you're done. So like, and like of course don't use unreleased figure slash debug figure. So like of course if I'm gonna pull up to the SSA leaderboard with a de with debug minion run, like they're not gonna accept that, of course. So. So yeah, like again, right? Like I have asked, like I know for multiple challenge games the rules are a bit lengthy right now, but I have asked Scory if I can condense that down into like two to three sentences. I don't know why Gizmo decided to write an entire a goddamn essay about it. Like I really don't know. Yeah, I think scouts are a bit more secured, but like we have ways. I recommend just asking for help though. I don't know how to do I know Aiden was able to do it with his phone, so. If anyone wants um 
pl like if anyone wants to debug a convenient NFC file that have two separate serial IDs, by the way, hit me up. I have them. Same for the template legacy stuff. I just have that stuff. I don't like they're kind of trying to not have it fall into the hands of eBay sellers. But the problem you create then is that it's hard for like people who aren't sellers to obtain it. So they might resort to sellers to get it. So. Like I know there was someone I once interacted with who was like really against NFC cards because of the eBay sellers. But the thing is if you make it so available that it's easier for someone to write a card themselves than to buy from sellers. Then you defeat the issue of sellers. So. Yeah. So like, here's the thing, right? Like, all power to those who actually know what they're buying when they buy those NFC cards. I kind of just want, like, I kind of just want sellers to be honest with what they're actually doing, right? And, like, not profit of the work of reverse engineering. So, like... Like, like I feel like, like those card sellers should be more honest with what they're actually selling. Yeah. Okay. So, like, here's the thing, right? You know how much it costs to buy an, an, a single NFC card? It, well, if you're buying in bulk, that is. It costs 28 cents per card. And they, I've seen people sell, like, robo cards for, like, 30. Like, fucking, like, like, I have considered doing it as a side gig. Yes, I, I'll admit that. I have considered doing it as a side gig because, like, having money is always nice. But, like, I wouldn't be the type of person to, like, sell a singular card for, like, 10 euros. Like... 50 cents at most is what I think you can sell those cards for. Maybe a dollar. That's it. Like, you can sell them for 30 cents and still make a profit. That's the thing. Like, you can sell those things for 30 cents a piece and still make a profit. So, yeah. To, to be honest, Activision could probably make math bank now if they just start selling the figures again. Like, re release some old ones that are really rare right now. They could make math bank, even if they are at inflated prices. Yeah, uh, hey Oval, thank, uh, welcome to the channel, this is your first time chatting here. Um, like, yeah, I have the game in Dutch right now because I can't be asked to change my Wii U to French. Because French is the fastest language and it's normally used for speedruns. Uh, but I can't be asked to change it, so... Because it takes a while to change a Wii U's language, and it sucks. I got paid today, so I could just... I should get my... I got paid. I should get some of my discs repaired. Yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, we're doing a glitchless run of the All-Star Levels category right now, so... Um, I was doing a little one, like, two days ago, and it died to missing the Chompy Mage Quick Kill. So, there's that. I don't know if it was yesterday, actually. How likely is it? Literally zero. Like, I'll just crush anyone's hopes and dreams right now and show you the chances of that happening are literally zero. Like, to, to everyone who's still, 
expecting a new, who's still like unironically expecting a new Skylanders game. Reverse skyrockets your expectations all the way back to Earth. I realize how disappointing reality is. Because like, there's no one of demands anymore, right? Toy Story Life stuff really fell off. Even Amiibo fell, kind of fell off, so. Like the only reason Amiibo are still being produced is Super Smash Bros. That's it. That's the whole reason. That's a very big number. Would it have been funny though if Nintendo was still selling like the Donkey Kong Skylander Amiibo hybrid themselves? But we can only wish. Like, we can only hope. Because those are actually quite sought after by both communities. So, yeah, it would have made sense if they kept producing those. So. They re released some rare Amiibos. Yeah. Okay, so I know if you have an amiibo with like a de with like a defect, like a factory defect, then you have something that's valuable if they're new in box. Like off here, like off off here, it's ami like amiibo with. Uh, like factory defects that are still new in box, like they sell for hundreds, sometimes even thousands. Yeah. Okay. So like that. Like I know they did this, but I think they re re removed it in the more re in like the so and like one batch of amiibos. There's a piece of foil that prevents you from reading the amiibo when it's still new in box. I think my best guess is that they prevented this for for so if someone decides to just bring something that can clone NFC data into a store that they can just clone it off the shelves. I missed a uh, boost thingy. Dual ca cannon. Samus sold for thousands. Yeah. Sorry, that took a bit to to read. To read, I shouldn't be distracted whilst flying. Don't text and drive, kids. Okay. So, all right. Rant time. You know what really pisses me off, right? When I'm like cycling to work or something. Like, the amount of people that are just on their phones when they're, like, behind the wheel or, like, just, uh, or cycling. Like, it really pisses me off. Like, I don't want to get into an accident because the other person wasn't paying attention. Like, that they have, like, that they, like, that they have, like, like... So basically what I'm trying to say is that someone can't put their phone down for like five goddamn minutes shouldn't like be my problem when they hit me, for example, right? Y'all know what I'm saying? Like... Same goes for drunk drivers. If you... Like, if you drink and drive, like, not only should they revoke your license, they should just outright never give it back, to be honest. Like, I'm sorry, chance wasted. Like... Like, if you think, like, fucking... I don't think a lot of people realize how deadly a car actually can be when in the wrong hands. I 
I saw a clip of a bike trying to brake check a truck. Like, you're, like, you, like, fucking, like, what goes through the person's hat at that exact moment when they decide to do something like that? Also, I'm pretty sure brake checking is illegal, because if you cause an accident with it, like, they see that as you caused it on purpose. So, if someone brakes checks you, right? Like, okay, so like, here's the thing, what I'm thinking about. What if the person they brake check just decides not to slow down one day? Like, like, fucking, like, some people do some, some people just shouldn't be allowed to operate vehicles at all. But yeah, that's something that really pisses me off, the amount of people, right, that I run into, or like, that I drive past on my bike, right, that just don't pay any attention to the road like they're just texting whilst they're on their bike like if a car like if a car comes and like they see you too late and you don't see them like you're not winning that on a bicycle like i'm sorry to break it to you you just aren't also it's automatic also in my opinion it's automatically your fault if you're on your phone Yeah, like really don't don't do that shit. It will kill you one day. But hey, like okay, don't start healing because it clogs up RAM for some reason. But yeah, so like, like, but yeah, some people really just shouldn't be allowed to operate any vehicles whatsoever. Okay, that's shields. Be vulnerable. I need to watch out of the circle attack here because I have had it crash my game here before. Yeah, alright, that seems to be close to that. So. Hello? Bro's just frozen! Thank you. Bro, I was really close to just light core bombing there and just risking it all. This is game I play, and like I, like there, it has this warning at the start if you launch it, and like it, like it's a Japanese game. So I one day just decide to translate, it, and it just says, "Don't play this while it's driving; it might cause accidents." Like thanks, I wasn't planning on. Like the fact that they even have to put a disclaimer. For that, so, like, like I think that just proves that we're a lost cause as a society. I am a fucking idiot. That's what I am. Look at this. Yeah, it is. But yeah, um, 
don't use your phone whilst operating a vehicle. Like, it doesn't hurt too much, you just put your phone down for 5 minutes. More people should know this. Chapter 11. But yeah, my my Twitch said all in a nutshell, talking about like stuff like this, and we're doing a Skylander speed run. That is such a small trigger for those enemies to spawn. Like you can easily like 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 you can easily like. Miss that trigger, and I always believe I soft look when I do. Okay, I am missing something. There's something called the radio or Spotify. Yeah. I also don't get like, like. I usually I usually just download stuff as MP3s. So, like I'm not paying. I'm not sorry. I'm not paying for Spotify. I'm not doing it. I mean, like, I, like, like, it's like, like, when I, so like, when I do, like, speed runs without microphones, right, like, I just go on the most unhinged rants and stuff about personal issues. So like, like, so like, y'all can either have, like, a discussion like this, or like, have me go so far that I'm probably, like, fucking, like, kicked out of this community. So like, <laughs> yeah, you know, you've been there. Like, fuck it. Okay, so, so like, for those who know, if I ever turn out like that on a stream, like, it's probably time to send help to my location. But yeah, we're not here. But I under I also understand people aren't here to listen to like like me ranting. Like they're here, we're here to just talk and have fun. But just watching me do a speed run, so yeah.
Alright, I'm happy. Okay. Okay, fuck. There we go. If I have time, should I do... Like, if I have enough time, I could do any print after this, but it'll probably end up being too late. So... And I have... I'm very busy tomorrow. So... I am very busy to Like, I am very busy tomorrow. Like, I have work and I need to go out and buy some shit. So... Bro, I'm gonna finish this run and it's gonna be like plus 47 billion years. But at least we had fun doing it. <laughs> if people would to read the books while driving, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be even more pissed off, to be honest. Like, that's, a, I'm sort of, like, reading it like that, and that just sounds so absurd. Like, that, like, it sounds so absurd, and that's why I'm laughing. Kinda funny to me. Swap to stealth elf. Oh, I actually golded that chapter for the first time in, like, four billion years. There we go. There we go. Okay, so like, I'll say something, I do like playing this level better on like, let's say, Xbox, for example. Because... I don't like a- like, because of how my setup is right now, it's kind of awkward how I'm aiming, so... Just imagine your just imagine dad's reading a story to his son while being in the densest traffic possible. Okay, now I can't stop imagining it. Okay, let's hope our run doesn't die. Like next chapter. Because it died there last time. I did figure out what I did wrong. Apparently, I'm um, putting on the time twister before one cutscene just messes some stuff up. So, I do know what I did wrong now. So, there's that. I will also say this chapter is quite annoying to 100% just because it takes so long. I should set up my Series 2 stealth of properly for giants, 
like have all the speed rocks and stuff on it because I use my series what I use my series 3 dark for Spire's Adventure though I should probably redo the setup on that because it's currently a bit messed up so Did we just all, like, past 2016, did we just, as a society, all collectively get brain damage or something? Why 2016? Because that's the, the year I fought off first. And I think it was the same year Pokemon Go came out, which had people glued even more to their phones. To the point it was where it was becoming an issue. It was already an issue. I do find find it quite funny how they made a game where you have to go outside and 10 people made hacks for the game so you don't have to, have to actually go outside. Okay. Like... Nick, I'm sorry but that's quite funny to me. Do those enemies up there like watch these ships are appearing might save a bit of time But yeah, um, so yeah, I don't get why we're all, like, why everyone just suddenly became so glued to their phones one day. It seems to, like, it seems to be just a thing that just happened one day. Musically, also known as the, I blame TikTok. Reels like all the short form content. I like like I blame it for my concentration issues now Like just bro. I I'm gonna ask someone to write me an extension that kicks me off YouTube shorts whenever I enter it
like I used to watch a lot I mean like short form content can be like it can be so like it can be entertaining right but it's also like it feels like it's turning my brain into like absolute mush so like I feel so much dumber now the more short form content I've consumed like yes I learned some fun facts and stuff and like I've learned like genuine stuff that might be helpful but like You know what I need? Just our compilation of random YouTube shorts that are informative. Just a Vsauce. That somehow fucking worked. How did that work? I have no idea how that worked, but it did. Alright. See if I can remember to how to do chapter 2 and 8 after this. Uh, which one? 7. That one. Lost some time to manually. Alright, that's fucking great. Um. <laughs> yeah, I used to watch Vsauce. Actually, I don't watch him as often anymore, so... You know what I also just used to watch a lot? Like those 15 minutes of useless information videos. <laughs> this one. Yay, I got it right. I lost a lot of time here in my other run. Even afterward, like even at like even before we soft locked. Not soft lock, it wasn't the soft lock, it was missing the fucking one cycle that. Even with the one cycle, some mage is still a really long boss. Bro! The 90 degree turn trademark. The fucking trademarked 90 degree turn. Holy fuck! Please! There we fucking go. Oh my god. It's gonna lose us so much time because now I'm gonna miss like a billion cycles. Oh my fucking. I'm gonna lose like a billion cycles now. Oh, there is something in my ear. There's something in my eye. Can't save myself from going blind. No, I'm kidding. It's just a hair. I have a speed run to focus on. I genuinely wonder, would it be faster to go back, up, and then skip this? Then it would be to wait for the cycle. I should test that. I mean, like, it might be, but it will probably be, like, a two-second difference. At most. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure I want to be in the other dimension coming out of this. I'm pretty sure in my PB I'm already in the boss fight at this point. Can't we have lit? Oh wait, I know why we, why this is exactly in the route where it is. It's because swap optimization. But like, couldn't we have found literally any other chapter order where this wasn't like near the end? Because okay, cool. Now I have a 20 second time loss near the end of the run. Bro, die! Thank you. I'm gonna stay as Flameslinger until we trigger the boss and then... <sighs> okay, I have Time Twister rather ready. Yeah, there is Crash Percent. I can help with it if you want to do it for, for the memes. Because it's actually quite simple. This game is surprisingly easy to crash. On command. So. Like we have like several methods and shit. On how to crash this game. On demand. And sometimes the map is just existing. I know you can crash the game with the Trox in 15. I know you can do it by overloading the game with Light Course. You can do it with, by overloading the game with Steam. You can overload the game in the Skystones menu. And you can overload the game by glitching the portal. And so, you, like, glitching the portal menu. So you can still fire projectiles while it's at the top. And it will store all of them. Please. PS3, is there any crash percent strats? I think there's ways to crash the game on PS3. I mean, like, the portal method will definitely work. It'll just take a lot longer. Sa same for the Steam one. So... The reason why I passed there is so he can't progress. So, because you need like all the time you can get. Would be interesting though seeing a crash percent run on a non Nintendo platform. Thank you. PS3's fucked architecture can probably help, yeah. Still think whoever made them, like, so like, they have a, the thing is about the architecture, it's actually really good, and it's what it's trying to do. The problem is it's just hard as shit to develop for. Okay, we're near the end. Two, two yens, it's two, you can count. Oh my god, I was going to chapter eight. 
Okay, this will probably be a couple seconds PB with like how the run went in chapter seven. Bro. I hit boss by accident there. I'm a fucking idiot. Bro, die. Hey, little god man, welcome to the stream. Don't swap after this, I need to remember that. That was really good. Despite me saying otherwise. Or thinking otherwise. I need to watch out for the load zone there because you can't trigger it on the outside.
guy, there we go. Okay, name I haven't seen in a while, who this? Uh, the Bongster, thank you, welcome to the stream. Haven't seen that name in a while. Who this, though? Like, I haven't heard your name in, your in a while, so I'm going to need a reminder. It's been like two months. Yeah. But yeah, I. Wildstorm37, thanks for the follow. Yeah, yeah sorry. I, 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 like, I remembered your name, but I still forgot who you were. So, I am incredibly sorry. Um, nearly the end of this level. Okay. Still have to mail the, ban uh, the NFC cards I made for Benzel to Benzel. So, should probably get my... Probably... Ask for some help with that real soon. Yeah, you have been following me for a while. I think you're one of my original viewers, actually. Ooh. I just put on the wrong Skylander, so there's that. I put on the wrong Skylander, so that's a little bit of time loss, so...
you're downloading Apex. I've played a bit of Apex Legends. Not much though. Okay, so destroying those houses early just... I think it's fast to actually drop and bounce her here, so should look into that. But yeah, it doesn't matter at this point, this run's really easily improvable. For how big the giants actually are, they should do more damage, to be honest. At least they instantly killed Chompage by just walking into them. Yeah. But like, I feel like they should... I feel like they should have had that effect on more enemies, not just for... Stomping on them with a bounce pad. That's all out in Glitchless, pretty surprisingly. So... Should put the Atom hat on this guy, actually. Because I st still haven't done that, even though it saved like a few frames. It's not a glitch, it's an exploit, it's an oversight, right? But like, I feel like it's, like I know they banned going all over gates and shit in every other scenario in the game. That is the exception. Like that specific point is the exception. Because the ta the top of a gate is technically out of bounds. So. So yeah, we just used Rubble for this arena. Bro, that means you played for nearly for nearly like a week straight. Even more than that. That means you have played to the equivalent of nearly 10 days straight in like a month huh it's a good game all right but still and i thought i was no life I mean, I have a job and shit now, so like, of course, I literally can't spend all day playing video games, so...
We have more potential to lose lots of time for, for, to the 90 degree turn trademark in this level. So. I think there's gonna be a few second PB. So. They didn't die instantly, which is quite annoying. Can I beat it? No, I can't. But I can do that. I'm actually really nervous right now. I'm not on world record page, like far from it, but like, just, I haven't PB'd her in a while, so, in like a month or so. Softlock. I just softlock here pretty recently, so. We're not sub 40 winning this, but we're gonna get close. Final boss. Okay, all right. <laughs> NFC cards, NFC cards, second one's an NFC card. Second one's an NFC card. There you go, Mods, happy. I'm so fucking nervous. Okay. My left hand is player one, my right hand is player two. Okay. There we go. There we go. Moment of truth. Okay, so I actually didn't lose too much time in chapter 7.
I'm gonna let the credits play. In the dot. Boom. I actually lost time in chapter five, which is quite puzzling. So yeah. Um, please stand by as I will find someone to read. I'm going to stop my recording now.